Hello everybody, my name is Fearless, and today we're going to be doing the Michael Myers add-on tier list. I am really excited for this one. Uh, Michael Myers is one of my, personally one of my favorite characters to play, just because he has so many different play styles, you know? Scratch Mirror, you could play, you know, sneaky and like movie accurate. Um, Tombstone and Tombstone Piece, you could just straight up kill someone, just for free. Um, and then, you know, Infinite Tier 3 or whatever, uh, just everyone's insta down, you know? There's so many different things you could do. As Michael Myers and I just I find it really enjoyable. Um, so first we have the fragrant tuft of hair, unlimited duration of evil within three, but it increases the amount of evil required to reach evil within three by two hundred percent. I mean, that is a pretty significant downside. And again, we're going on we're we're going from add-ons by themselves. So this is minus the like the memorial thing right here. So it just straight up takes two hundred percent longer, and you can't increase the speed. I mean, S tier. It may have a huge downside, but the upside is way too big to pass on, you know? Judas Tombstone. Unlocks the ability to kill healthy survivors or injured survivors with evil within 3. Increases the uh, amount you need to get by 200% and decreases your movement speed by 9%. So, it again, it takes 200% longer, like this one. It lets you kill people, but it doesn't have unlimited. These two together are great, but by itself, you know, it runs out. When they see that you killed someone, they could just hop in a locker and wait for the duration to run out. So I'm sorry by itself. If it was, if you could pair it with others, I would put it in S with this because you could pair these two together. But by itself, this is probably just. I'd probably say a lock of hair increases the duration of evil within three by forty seconds and increases the amount you need to get the first time by a hundred. That's how I said first time. The first time you reach evil within three, it take it will take 100% longer, but every time after that, it's going to be the normal amount that you need to get. Um, I personally just think this is an all-around amazing add-on. Because, sure, the first time takes a little longer, but after that, it's default, it's default, like, amount that you need to get. And it just adds 40 seconds, which is amazing. Scratched mirror. Um, now, we're going on how good an add-on is. I hate to say it, this is probably just going to go, like, C or D. Because, like, it's it's a fun add-on, but we're going off of how good an add-on is. How useful it is. Like, think about it. In Tier 1, he's slow as shit, and his lunge is shorter than my penis. So, uh, you know, obviously, I'm not going to put this S tier or A or B. This is going C. But if we were doing a fun tier list, n just know this would be the top of S. Alright, Tombstone Piece. Grants the ability to kill someone while evil within three. Killing a survivor instantly gets rid of evil within three. And the first time... No, I mean, increases the amount of evil required to reach evil within three by 150%. So, I mean... Again, it's by itself, so this is automatically better than this one. Because it doesn't reduce your movement speed, and it doesn't take 200% longer. It only takes 150% longer. Uh, I'm going to put this in S, actually. Here we have Vanity Mirror. Uh, Vanity Mirror, already better than Scratch Mirror. Uh, the range for ore reading is 16 instead of 32, but you have default range on your lunge and default movement speed. So you're not slower than Turbo before he's got his powers, and your lunge isn't shorter than my left toenail. So, overall, better than Scratch Mirror. Hair Bow. I almost said Harry Bow, like the gummy bears. Hair Bow. Increases the duration of evil within 3 by 30 seconds. Increases the amount of evil within required to get by 50% the first time. And honestly, it may be only 30 seconds instead of 40, but it, it only requires the first time to be 50% increased, so I do think it's better than this. I do think it's better than this because of that fact, that it, uh, it only takes 50% longer the first time. Because, I mean, it's 10 seconds. 10 seconds can make a big difference, but most likely not. J. Myro's Memorial increases the rate at, itch, at which Evil Within is gained by 25%. I mean, overall, just a very solid perk. Uh, Add-on, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't think it warrants an S tier, but it definitely is really good. Jewelry Box. Increases movement speed while stalking by 30%. This is hot garbage. When you're stalking someone, you're automatically slowed down. This add-on does not matter at all. Judas Journal. You, um, you become obsessed with one survivor. Increases the rate at which Evil Within is gained by stalking your obsession by 40%. Now, again, it's by itself, but we're allowed to use perks with it. 
if you had Nemesis and Enduring or something, you just let someone stun you, boom, they become the obsession, you stalk them real quick, you leave, and then you, you repeat the process. I do think it's automatically better than um, the J. Miles Memorial. Um, again, I wouldn't say it's S tier though, because these are for like these are for like the top notch add-ons, you know. Like this infinite exposed, this you could just kill someone straight up, but it, you know this is this is you can kill someone too, but it's not as good. Um, and these two just increase your uh, insta down for longer. I think it's better. Mirror shard, stalking a survivor for at least one second while an evil within two reveals their aura for five seconds. So it's like a mini scratch mirror. If you stalk them for at least one second and then they go behind a wall or something, you'll see them for the next five seconds. So you can see where they're going. I, I think it's good for mind gaming, honestly. If you just quickly stalk them at a TL wall or something, you can see if they're trying to mind game you. So, I mean, overall, I wouldn't say it's uh, as good as these ones. Because it's just, it's just like a little bit of information. I do think it's better than... Nah, I don't think it's better than Vanity Mirror, actually. I think it's going to go right here. Dead Rabbit. Decreases terror radius and evil within 2 by 25%. Increases terror radius and evil within 3 by 25%. Um, so instead of having 16 meters terror radius and evil within 2, you'll have 12 meters. And instead of 32, um, I'm not quite sure how to do math. Let's just say you'll have 40 meters. So, I mean, you're going to be evil within 2 more than you are evil within 3. I mean, yeah, I think it, I, I'd say it's right here. Glass Fragment. Stalking a survivor for at least one second while in Evil Within 1 reveals that survivor's aura for three seconds. This is hot garbage. This, this, it happens in Evil Within 2, which Evil Within 2, you're that for a majority of the game. This, you have to be Evil Within 1. So you're only going to be able to use this add-on for like 10 seconds of the match because it, that's how long it takes to get out of Tier 1, so you won't be able to use it for the rest of the game. This is hot garbage. Hairbrush. Increases the duration of Evil Within 2 by 20 seconds. Increases the amount that you need to get by 50%. Um, now, I just want to point out something. The hair bow increases it by 30%, uh, by 30 seconds. And the first time you have to do it is also 50. So the time that it takes is 50 on both of these. But this one's 10 seconds more. So, I mean, I think this is just top of A. It's much better to use this. Actually, I'm going to slap this all the way down in top of B. Jewelry. Increases movement speed while stalking by 20%. It's just, it's even worse version of this. It's just hot garbage. Reflective, reflective Fragment. Stalking a survivor while, for at least one second while leaving within two reveals their aura for two seconds. Uh, yeah, if you mix this with Lethal Pursuer, I think it does count. Um, it's better than this one because at least you can use this throughout the match. This one you can only use in tier one. It's hot garbage. I'd, I'd give this a little top of D. Blonde Hair. Uh, increases the duration of evil within 3 by 10 seconds, and it requires 50% more the first time. So it's just, again, the same uh, It's the same 50% as the hair bow and the hairbrush, but it's 10 seconds less than the hairbrush, and this is 10 seconds less than that. I'm dropping this bottom of C. I, I actually, I do think this is better than the scratch mirror, though, because 10 seconds can change the match significantly, depending on yeah, who you're going up against and everything. All right, next we have Boyfriend's Memo. Increases the range of the shape's lunge while on Evil Within 1 by 50%. Unless you're doing Scratch Mirror, this is horrible, but again, it's by itself. Um, I don't think it's better than anything on here, honestly. Memorial Flower. Increases the rate at which Evil is gained by stalking by 11%. Um, it's literally just slightly worse than this. This is 25, this is 11. I'm putting it right here. And then, finally, we have Tacky Earrings. Increases movement speed while stalking by 10%. It's just a shitty, shittier version of this. Alright, um, yeah. This is the first time I put Iridescent in something that's not S. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you noticed, all the thumbnails have the exact same face in them for the tier list. And the reason for that is not because I'm lazy. It's because I think the face is funny. And I'm just pretty much copying what Ali A does in his videos. Uh, and his thumbnails, I mean, <laughs> just put the same exact facial expression every single time. I think it's hilarious. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tier list, and I'll see all of you in the next one, which will be the hag. Now, I, I don't really like the hag. Honestly, I might just skip this tier list entirely. I'm joking, I won't do that, but uh, I'm not going to be excited for that one. But after the hag, we're going to have the doctor. All of his add-ons are the exact fucking same, so I'm not happy about that one either. 
But then we get to Bubba. I'm gonna be very, I'm very excited to get to Bubba. Um, I do really like him as a character. He's very fucking amazing. He's like Hillbilly, but you can kill multiple people at once. Um, but I think Hillbilly is still better because he has the mobility aspect. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see all of you in the next tier list slash video. Goodbye.